Um, hello. Now, I'm going to be looking at this WikiHow page today. That's how to play the violin. Now, I've been playing violin for um, about 10 years almost. Um, <laughs> so, that would be funny, you know. I'm not like an expert or anything, but I think I have enough knowledge to see like what they got right in here or wrong. I am optimistic now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, step one to playing the violin is to get a violin. That's uh that's a shocker. Uh, can I turn sorry, sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah, so this is my violin, it's a full size. Uh, his name is Fred. I can play a little bit of it. Alright. Um, so, uh, step one completed that. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, check the accessories. Well, I think the bow is a little bit more than just an accessory, um, to be honest. Like, <clears throat> bow is kind of an, a necessity, not an accessory, because, I mean, plucking on the violin doesn't sound that good. Plucking only really works on cellos and basses. Um, doesn't sound that good, really. Rosin, tuner, claw. Got that covered. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's my first nitpick right there. Um, now, if you see, right, right there, her, uh, her bow is, like, way too loose there. It should not be sticking out that much. Like, look at all that girth there. My bow looks like, there's no, there's none of that, there's none of that, there's none of that screw in there, man. It shouldn't be like that, it's not good. Uh, yeah, look at all of that. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. That could make your see how loose that is? see how loose that is. That is ridiculous. Yeah, don't do that. That's not, that's not good. Yeah, okay. Um tighten the bow. A gay okay, don't use your pinky finger. Yeah, yeah, that's smart, that's smart, yeah. That's good advice actually. Um Rosin, yeah, that's kind of a little certainly. Hmm, never even heard that. Electric tuner, yeah, tune the violin. Good enough. Ooh, ooh, that bow hold. This is really disturbing. Now, this is how you hold a violin bow. Right, you want your knuckle to be almost touching the bow hair. Um, now, I have, like, a big pet peeve about touching the bow hair. Because, I don't know, the way I was taught, don't touch bow hair, you know. Ugh. Because it gets the oils from your skin on it, not a good thing. So, like that seems to be a pretty good grip for me. <sighs> Something's not right about. Yeah, yeah. What, what is she doing with her finger? Is that like a Russian bow hold? Because that's there's a thing called a Russian bow hold. It's worth something like that. I can't do that. Um, I'll have to learn that eventually. But uh, yeah, that that's that's weird. I wouldn't do it like that because then when you get you don't doesn't have enough. Like suspension, like on a car, like when you go over a bump, it has that like springing. Yeah. <sighs> hold violin, stand or straight with straight back. Now I like to hold it more uh, front. That's just me, but you're supposed to hold it more like that. Uh, yep. Yeah. I guess he's kind of doing it weird. Yeah. You don't want to lean back too much. <laughs> I guess. Um, perfect your hand position. Now, it's a little too back. Yep. Play the strings. Flat <laughs> side of the bow hair. Actually, halfway between the bridge. Yeah, wait. That's. Ooh. Ooh. You shouldn't be. 
doing that. It's not straight. It should be more uh, now. The Europeans, right? They call it instead of an up bow and or, yeah, an up bow and a down bow. Call them in bow and out bow because it should be. <laughs> That's a better way to phrase it. I don't really know how to talk, so. <laughs> Practice playing. See, see, it's not like parallel to the bridge there. That, that's the same thing. Practice play. G, D, A, and E. And you're from top to bottom string. Practice playing other notes. I guess that's. Practice scales. Practice every day. That is true. That's the most important part. Practice every day. Practice every day. Uh, wow, beginner songs. Can I? I can't. Okay, wow. So yeah, that was the violinist was watching a wikiHow thing. But yeah, the most important thing is practice every day and practice slowly. Practice slowly. So yeah, <laughs> that was it. So I think moral of the story. It, just increase my girth there. Well, more of the story, it's, it's fine, I guess. If, but get a private instructor, I'd say. If you want to learn how to do it good. Um, there's a lot of better, probably, uh, violin lessons on YouTube. This was fine, I guess, for the basics. But some of the things, like the bow and your hand positioning, was not really right in there. I think the number one, the best way to learn the violin is to practice it, obviously. And if you're not practicing, then you should be listening to it. Listen to some uh, Paganini Caprices, because they are, like, the best violin pieces of all time. 24 Paganini Caprices. Dang. I can't play those, but I, I hope to. Um, Beethoven's really good, especially if you're younger. That's very musical. So, just learn it, dude. It's never too late to learn the violin, or any instrument for that matter, so. Uh, I also play the piano and um, trumpet, so, yeah. Well, thank you.